setting to look really gross. Sorry, I need to reset this. I'm just gonna have them all go after the wizard over. So yeah, I use that when I just want to rush somewhere quickly, but um, so that the, the picture is more clear for the folks watching at home. I, I try not to do it too much in, in dungeons, but I use it on the world map. Yeah, I should use I should use my Izuna charge. I have plenty of spell charges. I should use that to try to get out of here because I don't want to lose another character. This will be the first time I've used it, so let's see what it looks like. Yeah, and that brings back yeah. And that that wouldn't that have been perfect if I got. Uh, Paralysis put right back on him. Wouldn't that have been just dandy? I just gotta hope to get good uh, distribution of attacks. Because we're all getting low on health now. There we go. I'll have to try to get out of here quickly. So Sandbag X, it was great uh, chatting with you in the Mexican Runners chat the other day when he was doing the Blue Marlin at long last. Seeing the Blue Marlin get the kind of love that it deserves. And it inspired me to uh, do some more work on the Blue Marlin uh, FAQ, which I just updated this morning with some new findings. Yeah, so this is, I'll, this is the, what the dash looks like on my stream. It also makes me take some extra steps that I don't want to take. And I'm actually running a little bit low on healing resources, so I'm going to try to get out of these battles a little bit more quickly if I can. And also to try to keep my levels uh, more or less equal. He's going to be getting behind a little bit. And he's already he was already a little bit behind. He wasn't in first in experience, but that's what the dash looks like. Alright, so this is a no escape, so I'm going to try to just get the bone out of here first. He can really hit for the most damage. These crawls can get like eight attacks. I'm sure I've seen eight from them. I don't know if they have any more. That's okay. Both of these attacks should take him out. Alright. Good, it was just one. Alright, so we're actually getting close to the exit here, once I get around this corner. And go up that ladder, we'll be in back in B1. And near the exit. Um, I didn't see if this one was runnable. Always flashes so quickly, but I should be able to take care of this one. Yeah, I don't like my fighter being... Okay, he's cured. Oh, and right back to paralyzed. But at least we got the bone in that round. Had we not, it would have been a lot rougher. All right. And I'm pretty sure I cleared out everything there that I needed to, except the Mystic Key stuff, which I will be back here to collect. Because I think there's some pretty nice stuff down in here, unlike the NES version where it's not usually, for me, worth it to uh, come back down. Let's try to just get them all. Get the Green Ogre, make sure we get him this round. There's a lot more unrunnable battles, but at least they tell you they're unrunnable. Which I like to see. I always thought that was tough in uh, in the NES version where you there was no way of knowing if the battle was unrunnable or not, be it wizards or whatever stuff that was flagged with the unrunnable code. All right, I'm gonna save up and I'm going to take just a 30 second break. Uh,
All right, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to get my boss changed over to Astos. Oops, something happened to my Astos sprite. I don't know what happened to my Astos sprite. I guess, uh... Go back to the wizard with the X, I guess. Don't know what happened to my Astos sprite there. Oh well. Now I can start uh, burning my spells on these undead. Hopefully to just get out of here more quickly. There's the fire too. So I'll be back. I'll go back to Elfland, revive that other fighter, restock my heal potions and everything else, and then I'll head up to uh, Astos, get him done, and then hopefully I can start my treasure collecting. There we go. And I'll get all the treasures that I missed earlier, and the stuff from the Mystic Key. This battle's kind of beneath me, so I'm hoping to just get out of here quickly. A lot of these battles are going to be pretty significantly below me. Although this one would be worth fighting. Just because I can beat it quickly. Yeah, look at that. One hit. One attack, I should say. Three hits. One attack to kill the ogre. That's just a quick little boost in experience. Alright, I'll fight this one, because I have some spells I can dish out. This should take them all out. Yeah, I don't know about that bottom bottom left ogre might not die to this next ice too if I get another very low roll like that. Let's see if I get a nice roll on him. Yep. And these should be more than good enough. Yeah, I'll take I'll take that anytime I can get that. All right, we'll get our fighter revived. We'll get him back where we where we need him. Probably wasn't the best uh, way to menu, but it is what it is. Alright, let's see how far behind he is in experience. Um, 
So he's 10, 175, and he's uh, 56, 25. Okay. So he's about 5,000 behind that other fighter, and even more behind um, one of my red mages. Gonna restock my heal potions, but it should be pretty quick. Much faster, of course, than one at a time in the NES version, which is a great improvement. And I'll just fill up the the rest here, because you can't buy, it won't let you buy 9 when you have more than 90. So I'm just going to top it off to 99. I need a few more uh, pure potions. And I'm a few more tents as well, because I used a few tents. Tents, of course, have been uh, bumped up significantly in price. Uh, and soft potions, as you can see, have been significantly reduced in price. Alright. So we're set to go, and actually I should have stayed at the inn before I bought all that stuff to save that progress. And I think I am ready to go. I have two level 5 spell charges in my red mages that I can't use yet. I won't get those till I'm on to Melmond. And this battle, I just want to uh, get out of this battle. I'll fight those ogres, but gray wolves and gray imps and those kinds of enemies are, are far below where I am. But ogres are fine because I can beat them quickly, and they're worth at least serviceable experience in gold. A hundred experience is not completely ridiculous to me at this point in the game. Alright. Yes, Astos is but one. There are, aren't there are other Dark Elves. I, I think I read in this version that, that uh, you can fight Astos as a uh, as a random battle. <laughs> Astos is but one. Yeah, so that would be pretty rough if I have uh, Dark Elves casting rub on me in random battles. It would make the Northwest Castle here feel like the Ice Cave. And I can't imagine what the Ice Cave is going to be like in this, in this version. I'm a little bit terrified to find out what the Ice Cave is going to look like. Will you find, find Astos only once? But you're on the... I have the right idea. I'm on the right track. All right. Well, we'll we'll find out here. Let's see. What does he say? You have my loot. Okay. Okay. You. We are on the menu of Astos. All right. So I'm I'm not sure how they've changed him. So I'm just gonna try to fight him straight, um, just as I would normally. Just highest, strongest spells. And strongest, uh, strongest attack. Let's see what I can do. Ice 2 does 30. No, not great. So he's got some magic resistance. And so he's got... Looks like physical damage is doing a little bit more. There was an enemy mapping error. Alright. <laughs> a red dragon in, in Matoya's cave. That's fun. A 
a, a red dragon in Matoya's cave. Excellent. Alright, so... Alright. Paralyzed? Oh, we're all three of us paralyzed. And bomb. So that, that looks like a non-elemental direct damage spell. Yeah, and I don't have... Like, Izuna would do no good. On Lit 2, I could have cast X Bear, I guess. I don't have X Death yet, but I do have X Barrier. But just outside of her cave. Excellent. That's that's pretty good sandbag. <laughs> I like it. Um Yeah. What is what is the red mage doing with with attacks? Okay, there's there's Astos done. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. So here's there's our crystal. So I guess I better uh, make sure I save before I head up towards uh, Matoya's cave. There, I think that's what I'm gonna read into your uh, your warning. <laughs> there. That was a rather tough Astos fight. Thankfully, it's uh, in a fairly short dungeon, I guess you, you call this a dungeon. And I'm guessing... Is this a trapped square? I wasn't paying attention to exactly where I, where I was when I started this battle, but I'm wondering if it's a trapped square right here. I need to take a look again when I get out of it. If I survive, two fire twos doesn't take those guys out. Dragon's not there anymore. Oh, no, so that's not a spiked square. It doesn't look like one. Alright, so Zonk Miles took out the dragon. Yes, finger point sandbag. I did actually go up to the peninsula of power there, and I saw some uh, some pretty nasty stuff. Actually, I was able to I was able to beat a couple of the battles up there. Um, I at, when I was at level like 14, um, I was able to beat a frost dragon death dragon combo. Uh, and I think another time I was able to beat some of the wizard mummy combo. Something that when I could use a couple of fire twos to uh, do a lot of damage to all of them. But most of the other combos took me out pretty pretty handily. Okay, a vampire and a question mark for next boss? Okay. Yeah, see there's that's that's gonna be uh, gonna be interesting with my my stream display. If I don't, if I don't uh, reliably know what all the bosses are going to look like, like for the for the wizard there, I should have had a wizard and a sorcerer. Uh, and, but and something happened to my to my Astos sprite, so I wasn't able to put Astos up there. But a vampire plus a question mark. All right. Well, you're you're welcome to. Uh, you're welcome to spoil things if you care to, Sandbag X. I'm not a, I, I'm not a no spoilers streamer. So if you care to spoil things, you may. Uh, or if you'd rather not, then you don't have to. If you'd rather give me cryptic, <laughs> cryptic warnings like that, like vampire plus, vampire maybe, maybe not even a vampire. Definitely something scary though. All right. So before I go to the inn and save, let's do this prince thing. Uh, yes, sandbag, I did find... Uh, so gray sharks are quite scary um, in this one. And then also the the gazers or big eyes or whatever they are. You won't can't spoil things. That's okay. You don't... You don't uh, I'm not asking for spoilers specifically. But yeah, I did find the, the gazer big eye enemies. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to exchange the crystal for the herb. Okay, because you... Alright, you... That's right, you said you wanted to play this semi-blind. I forgot about that. I remember now. You want to do a blindish run of this game. Watcher. Okay, yeah, Watcher. Yeah, and I, I read about that in the 
Sir System error write-up of his playthrough on this one. So I kind of knew that they were out there, and I did actually I did actually run into one of the, I think just one. Uh, and I think I gave it my best fight, and it still killed me. It's supposed to kill you? Yeah, I... I gave it my all, but by that time I wasn't really grinding in the, uh, in the sea. Or at that time I was. I'm no longer really grinding in the sea when I was getting up to level 16 here. So I hope I don't run into it again. But that's just put in there to, uh, just to take you out, huh? That's mean. Yeah, the gray sharks are, uh, threatening enough when you're at, at low, low levels. Getting a shark-gray shark combination is pretty scary. And I'm done with these guys. Thank you. Yeah, my next boss is Vampire with a question mark. I, I uh... I don't know if I'll be able to do that easily. I don't want to do it too much on stream because my um, my stream will get really choppy if I start messing around with that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Sir, or our sandbag act I almost got a Sir System error. All right, there's the crystal. Yeah, if you need to pop out, that is no problem. I appreciate you just swinging by to say hi. I've already grabbed that. So yeah, I'll be I'll be clearing out the the treasures here once I get the key, and then uh, I'm hoping to do uh, a little bit of the Earth Cave today. I probably won't be able to do all of it in the time I have left if, if I have to work at the same pace I did in the Marsh Cave. Definitely I won't have time. So there might be some real spoilers in the next couple dungeons, huh? Well, I'm excited. I'm excited then to see what's, what's ahead of me. So this, I mean, it is grindy. I know that's kind of a, a lot of folks are, are down on, on grindy and luck-based, but uh, I'm, I'm just interested to see how some of these things work. And the party I have, I know, is going to be even more grindy, because the, these, those red mages, I, I can tell already, are going to not be as versatile when the game gets towards the end, so I'm just going to have to do brute grinding and, and luck farming. But it's been nice having all this offensive output. So far, anyway. See, this is just such a weird combination. It's like, it still looks strange to me to see this combination pop up. You just, you get so used to uh, enemy tile sets. Even as a as a casual player, which you would definitely call me, not as a speedrunner who who gets to learn um, all the enemy tile sets, just as a, ca a total cash like me, you just uh, you get used to seeing certain enemies grouped with other enemies, and then you see strange combos like that, and it throws you off a little bit. One thing I don't know is if there's Mystic Key stuff in anywhere else that um, that I haven't been already, or that sorry that that there aren't there there are Mystic Key things in the NES version. So I'm going to be going to the Dwarf Cave and Conaria and the Northwest Castle and all those all those spots. But I don't know if there are if, if there's like Mystic Key rooms and other buildings. So now the Aldi Sea. That's right. That's what I couldn't remember what that inland sea was called. The Aldi Sea. Yeah, I have some selling to do because I need uh, space for some armor. Yeah, there we go. I need space for some armor. Yeah, I can drop... I can drop the turban, because I think I pick up a helmet or two. 
in the course of the Mystic Key Rooms. I think I get a helmet, unless, uh... Unless Zonk Miles has taken out the helmet. Let me sell some of the extra weapons and armor that I have here really quick. Don't need that. Um... Wow, what's the Silver Hammer look like? What are the stats on the Silver Hammer? 3871 3274 3778 Alright, so I might keep I might keep the Falchion around. Um and once I start getting closer to that fourth hit, I might keep the Falchion around for when I get close to the fourth hit. Alright, see you later, Shahali. Thank you for popping in. I'll be here for a while, so if you care to tune in later, I might still be here. Alright. And sell off those copper bracelets that I've been hanging on to. Alright, so he's all set. Extra iron armor. Actually, he had two extra iron armors. Alright, so now I have room for all the stuff I'm hopefully going to be picking up. So let's head up to Kaneria and the Temple of Fiends first. Yeah, it's strange getting onto the ship and not having the dash ability anymore. Like, you, you slow down when you hit the ship. Oops. I meant to... I meant to go down to, uh... It too. So here's these pirates again that I was banging my head against so far, so much earlier of this thing. And yeah, that's right, those pirates have pretty high uh, magic resistance, magic absorb. Let's see if Ice 2 does anything. It doesn't even take out the shark, and it definitely won't take out any of the pirates. This could be another long, nasty battle. Let's see if I can get a couple of a couple of the guys with this. All right, there's a couple of the pirates. One pirate. I'm curious to see some of the things that they have in the. Mystic key chests. Especially down in the marsh cave there. And I may even pick up another level by the time I'm through with that, which would be nice. Um, let's see, the way around to all of that. Yeah. Way. Right. Yes. Okay. Cool. I have a feeling I'm going to need this money when I go on to Belmond and I need to start buying spells. More spells. Mage Gauntlet, huh? TNT. Um. Mage Gauntlet, eh? Can one of these guys actually equip it? Yeah, okay, you can equip it in addition to the glove, or, uh, instead of the gloves. What does that do? It gives him 1848 with gloves. Oops. And he's now 2049. Okay, so it's mildly better than the gloves. I don't know if it has any spell casting. Oh, they he left a door right here. There's a doorway right there. That's nice. That's very handy for us. I might try the Mage Gauntlet in a battle here. I'm just gonna rest at the inn to get my magic charges back from that battle in the ocean.
and I'll be using my dash here in the world map and, and in the Temple of Fiends, because we've already seen what's in there and what everything looks like. I'm gonna see if it does anything, and if it does something that I can't figure out what it is, then I'll, I'll check the readme, because I do have that handy, but I'd rather not uh, stop streaming. I'd have I'd have to uh, stop playing and pull that up, and stream gets very choppy when I do that. So okay, nothing happens. So it is just a, a little bit nicer piece of armor for the mages. Tell me I can't run from four imps. That's too bad. Did they tell me this battle was inescapable? There. Two, two rounds of trying to run, and what am I going to get? Yeah, 15 experience. Isn't that nice? See if I can get out of this one, <laughs> or get that casting a fire off and take them all out and get another 24 experience in this battle, maybe. But I see what's guarding them. Is it still Goyles? No, it's not. It's this nasty battle. Whoa. It's this thing. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, I guess I could have cast X Bear to uh, block the lightning spells, but see if I can get rid of that sorcerer and, and his one-hit kill stuff first. All right, we got rid of the sorcerer anyway. Alright, that'll help. Let's get this guy quickly. And pick up whatever this thing is. I hope it's worth it. Whatever it is. Five thousand gold. Well, not really worth it. For the for the risk. Uh I don't know if that was ambush or if that was no escape. Okay, looks like it was ambush. Or a, uh, sorry, a chance to strike first. Whatever it's called in this. Alright, let's see what nasties are guarding this. Is it the same? It is the same. Alright, so let's hope that, um, we survive this one as well. Okay, good. One hit for the sorcerer. That's nice. And then the worst we can get is a few lightning spells. Alright, there's the double, that's nice. Alright, that was actually a pretty pretty nice battle. As long as we can take care of that sorcerer, it should be okay. House Dream Staff. I think that one casts when you use it in battle. Oops. Oh, not, not equip. I want to trade. Alright, uh, but back to this. Alright, so let's see if we can get another quick kill here. Three hits, 118. Lightning, two. I don't know if that will... Finish off the sorcerer. Okay, it does finish off the sorcerer. Good. And I, yeah, I need both fighters attacking the sorcerer because we've got to get it cleared out as quickly as we can. All right. So these have all ended the same way with uh, just one wizard after the first round and nobody dead. So thank goodness it's basically the same battle we had down in the marsh cave 
but I'm just getting much better luck with it up here. Not having any anyone uh, nerfed by the sorcerer, and these battles just are not really worth me fighting anymore. Let's try to either run or get a casting of fire off, which should take them all off. Take them all out. Alright, so I've got Elfland and Canaria. I think next I'll head to the Dwarf Cave. And then it'll be Northwest Castle and the Marsh Cave. I'll have to head back to Canaria to heal up and get the ship, so this is just a big collecting mission, so not very much exciting going on during this part of the game. And I've already got the TNT, so I should be able to give that to Narek there, and I don't think I've been to the Dwarf Cave yet in this hack, so I haven't picked up the unlocked treasures. Ooh, and there's level 18 for ZZ. So my other fighter has a little bit to go yet before his level up. But it's good to know that uh, level 18 is just around the corner for three of my... three of my team. Let me just quick restore my spell charges in case we run into something weird and save. In case I run into the... big eye. Out there, or Watcher, I think it's called. All right, and over to the Dwarf Cave, which I hope is in the same place. Oh, too far to the west there. And I wonder if battles in the sea ever get much, much easier. I need to switch off that fire because he still has the uh, the falchion equipped. 71, 71, no, 38, 38, 71. Okay. Um, and I'll because I'll be approaching that next hit in a few more levels. So actually, by then I might I might have better weapons. By the time I'm approaching my next hit, which should be at 96, I guess? Yeah, it'd be 96 before I'm approaching that next hit. I've read that the uh, Titan's Tunnel is, uh, is another not-so-fun dungeon. That's, that's been expanded. Um, okay, can't get to the dwarf cave that way. But you see, the world map tiles have been um, have been switched around on me a little bit. So do I have to walk out through here? Yeah. Okay, I have to walk out through here. Actually, let's get the hyenas first. They have the chance to uh, stun me, as, as they did with him. Alright, at least I got one of them. And let's see if I can get all of these guys in one round, one more round. There's the hyena down. There's never really a question on the fighter getting the ogre, but can he one-shot the ogre? Not quite. These red mages do have the capacity to one-shot the ogre, but... Not quite that time. Yeah, good. Want to keep getting these level 18s coming? I'm going to be fighting these battles whenever I run into them, because they're pretty easy sources of experience for me. So, 
thinking forward to the Earth Cave. A lot of things are different in there. I have a possible hint on vampire maybe not being just your regular everyday neighborhood vampire. And there's four items in there, so I'm going to have to be kind of dungeon crawling very carefully in the Earth Cave. Alright, these guys are still good. I hope there's not uh, battles in here. That's something that... Uh, oh, the copper bracelet. Normally, I think that's just money in there. Ah, okay, cool. We get little shout-outs to uh, some of the people who helped do game testing. That's nice. Shout out to you guys, Beach Man, Death Adder, Titanium 69, V Sulfur, Diamond Dragon, and Bolt Gloss. Shout out to you guys for your help. Enemy Astral Silk Tail helped make it. Yeah, Enemy is the uh Guarding the Ice Cave and watching your every move. Whoa. I like that they have I like that they have little shout-outs to the uh, creators. Captain Muscles edited the title screen, and Astral Improved Hackster. I bet, uh, is that Astral Esper? There are many monsters that can petrify you. Yes, I am aware of that. Captain Muscles, yes. Another shout-out to you, Captain Muscles. That's really cool. I like that they throw in credits there. They left out the, but my supply of adamant is exhausted. They left that part out. Alright, so here's Narek. Just what I need to finish my canal. And there goes Narek, and this room is locked by the Mystic Key. Cure Potion, and there should be a helmet in... I think it's this one. Isn't it this one? Money, 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 money. Nunchucks. Don't need those. Shadow helmet. I think that's, that must be a thief ninja weapon. I'll see if anybody can equip it. Alright, because I've got silver armor too, so that should be equipable. Silver armor is, yes, yeah, better than iron armor. And can he equip it? No, he can't even equip the shadow armor, so we now have some selling to do. How long have I had that iron gauntlet sitting there without that being equipped? So I have a shadow helmet, gloves, and the copper bracelet to sell. Actually, I may check the shadow helmet to make sure that it's only for that um, that particular set. Black Belt Master, maybe, or maybe just Thief and Ninja. I'm just going to confirm that before I sell it. But either way, uh, it's back to Elfland now. Yep, and you see the land has been cleared for me. But yeah, going back and crawling the Marsh Cave for the rest of that treasure is going to take me a little bit. Oops. So I may just explore a little bit of the Earth Cave. I might not even quite get to the Vampire. At the rate I'm going, but that's okay. I don't mind going at kind of a slow pace, because Final Fantasy 1 is a slow paced game, and when you're dealing with a hard type ROM hack, you should be expecting an even uh, slower paced experience. Almost, uh, I smiled a little bit. Somebody mentioned playing solo solo runs of the NES version of this. I can imagine a solo run of this might be possible, but would be very, very, very difficult. Might be something to uh, think about sometimes. But probably would be very luck dependent.
very, very luck dependent, I would imagine, and, and you would have to just probably grind up to level 50 as soon as you could. Maybe grind up to level 50 uh, on the imps out in front of Conaria. Just grind up to 50 right away. Even then, I can imagine with all the statuses flying around, even if you were level 50, you'd have a very, very hard time dealing with most random battles. Just with the number of statuses that get thrown at you in this game. Because you're constantly dealing with it with every... so many random enemies having access to status attack features. You're dealing with them all the time. Let me... I'll turn on the vampire. I'm not sure if I'll actually get to the vampire this run. And it's vampire and possibly question mark, possibly something else, but uh, at least that helps mark where we are in the game. We know I'm pre-Earth Cave, pre-Ruby, pre-Titan's Tunnel. But I won't be there for a little bit yet, because we're heading back to the Marsh Cave. Which I always thought was a, a minor troll in the design of this game. That they put locked locked doors down there in the Marsh Cave. This, this really dangerous, threatening cave. Oh, does this go up to Temple of Fiends? Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. He opened that up to the Temple of Fiends so you can dock right there. Oh, the Gray Shark. Excellent. And you know what I might actually do before I go back down into the Marsh Cave? Is I might pick up some level 5 spells from Melmont. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick up level 5 spells for my white mages, since I have two charges on each of them. I might as well fill those before I have to head back down into the dangers of the Marsh Cave. So let's do that. I'm curious to see what they have anyway. Again, just blasting with our spells. That's what makes grinding uh, and this game really a breeze, being able to use all of these area of effect spells. Yeah, wow, silence. They have multiple, multiple statuses tied to their attack. Not pretty. Alright, so I'm going to take a look at both of these before I buy anything. Cure 3, life, harm 3. So first of all, can he learn? No, he cannot learn life. That actually really, that really hurts a lot, actually. That's, uh, okay, can't learn that. He can learn Cure 3. 